Hi guys, my name is Mark and you're on the Fire Media channel. And today I'm going to show you how to build multi-level rack agent that will improve results of retrieving data from the vector store. So let me briefly explain. Let's imagine that you have multiple files. Right now we have only two files, but usually when you build something for real company, you have multiple files, for example, 50 or even 100 files. And each of them you're cutting into multiple pieces like this one and creating your vector store. So at the end you have a lot of vector records and the quality of results are decreasing because when you retrieving some data from the vector store by a query you can get 5, 10, 15 results that will be qualified for answer but it will be too much for your AI input limit and as a result AI would miss some important details. So to avoid it, we need to narrow down list of files we're researching and this way we will get the less results and they all will be more relevant. How to do that? Let me show you my examples. For example, we have two files. It's basically a history book and we have around 50 pages like the first of the first chapters and then we also have around 50 pages of the chapters somewhere in the middle. So we're gonna search some specific questions related to some of these chapters and we need to narrow down because I don't like 50 pages is too much and some data could be crossed among the files and I want to search only in the relevant files for example only in this one or only in another one. So how it works? We are going to create files and documents tables. It's a standard process when you creating like documents database, you add in a vector store like plugin to create embeddings. Yeah, and to do that I will provide you definition of SQL queries in the workflow. Yeah, so nothing actually special here you can find actually the SQL queries in our other videos. Yeah, so when it's created, we have some description and basically right now this description of files is simple list of chapters. But if you're working with real data, it's better to specify what kind of data inside this file, when it will when it's better to use it and yeah, so on. So to search through these files and to find the appropriate file, we again need to do embedding for this description. Yeah, so let me show you how it works in the NATAN. Yeah, so first of all, uh, if you haven't uh, worked with Vector Store and Superbase, it's better to check our another video. Uh, this one, the yeah, agent to chat with files in the Superbase on our channel. And uh, also you can find working template in our community. Uh, you can download it and work with that, uh, this one. And uh, here we just showed how to upload files to the vector store from the Superbase or from the Google Drive. Yeah, so just check it if you don't have uh, any experience with that. Yeah, but we're gonna work with this simple workflow. Actually, it's not agent, but a model. And what we need to change the function that retrieves data, because when you do simple AI agent like this one, you have a Superbase vector store retrieval node. And here, the only filter you can set up, it's a, like metadata filter. So metadata filter works based on metadata, this one, and you can, for example, filter by file ID. Yeah, so I want to search only in one file, but we don't know like, if it will be one file or if it will be multiple files. And actually the system is built for multiple files. So this one, it just can't work because I, I can't provide here like file ID and the multiple files ID, no. It doesn't work so we need to do something custom and how we can do that so actually this tool is simply retrieving your function yeah query name this function usually creates with this document table yeah and the name is match documents yeah so this one this is a standard thing that you need to do like run the sql query and create this stuff so we need to change it a bit and this Code, for example, is made especially for filtering data by multiple file IDs. Yeah, so it means that I can provide uh, some query. For example, I want to search something about priests and uh, it search not only through one file, but through all files that I provided. Yeah, if we can check, we have different files ID. 
for different factors yeah as you can see so yeah to do that we need to set up this flow first of all we do code function yeah you can see that it's simple function that actually retrieves another function in the Sumba base it's a um, match documents and match documents works the same way yeah match match files sorry match files it's just using some query and searching through files based on its description yeah so let me quickly check description yeah this one yeah so for example i'm asking something again about priests and if there's some data about priests so for example mammals return us some results let me quickly show you how it works so yeah so all this code it's simply embedding function and that's and also it should be request to superbase that retrieves match files function yeah let me quickly show it to you yeah for example when was the first mammal so we asking something about mammals and as a result we have two description of files that we have here one and another one and we have similarity so similarity means how relevant this information against our our query so we have these mammals mentioned in our description and we have a great similarity so similarity based on my experience more than 20 will be enough sometimes you can like filter by higher similarity if you want if you have a lot of files and you want to yeah if you want to just get better results and if i don't know it returns you 50 files and all of them are fine and you want to on your top five you can manage and change the similarity here also you can manage a number of files that will be returned like right now it's mesh count it's five but you can yeah do it whatever you want and then we simply aggregate all these files id and do simple open ai message request so right now it's not an agent and you can replace it with an agent but yeah just for showing purposes I just replace it with simple message so we have a system message we're asking to use knowledge base 2 and also because we have a file and we have all data about files again why it's great to use such setup we have some url that will be also returned to ai and also used in answer yeah so we're asking to do that here and yeah and again we have another code function it's just the same but it's triggering different function yeah match documents and in the match documents we simply again searching some documents that have metadata file id equals data from our array yeah so let, let, let me just show you how it works and yeah for example when was the battle of yarmouk yeah so we have it in the plate history yeah you see yeah we have the result yes okay reference no doesn't exist okay something is broken let me quickly check oh it's because i renamed and renaming not working in code yeah sorry and one more time so it's answered right but not actually not right yeah we have another another year here so it's I just took information yeah from all knowledge and what we have so we uh, send this question first of all we searching through files somehow it understood that this like late history file is more relevant than the second one i don't know why but uh, i think it's like like vectors understand something uh, because it's mostly like about uh, a call like some biology and uh, mammals and all this stuff and this more about society i i guess yeah so after that we filter by similarity so we have a minimum like 0 0.2 and so we filter it only one file again it might be five files then we aggregate these files and we have array of them and after that we retrieving this data using this code and so in the code as you can see we retrieve multiple pieces again you can control number of pieces here so if like at least five pieces exist it will always return all of them but it will specify like similarity so again you can add special filtration in this code to like filter on the top results and for example even the match count will be like five or ten and if you have like some filter of similarity the final results will be filtered and you will get only like two results for example yeah and so we already joined all data again you can change it here 
So how joining works, we specify name of, of the file, similarity, link, and the piece itself. So the first piece already can, contains our needed information and other pieces are less relevant. Yeah, so based on that, AI returned us this response. And again, it provided link, so it's clickable and you can just open it. Let's try again. What was the first memo, for example? Again, we're searching through the files. And now the early history is more relevant than the late history file. Again, it's searching through and we have some results. Yeah, like areas. Again, something about memos. Yeah. So this is how it works. Yeah, so you can find all these templates and SQL queries to create all needed functions and tables in our community. And also in other stuff, um, for example, if you already have such um, a solution, if you already have files, if you already have a list of documents and you need to create just embedding again, you can use simple flow like this one. For example, we get in some list of files we send in OpenAI request. So OpenAI lets you to create embeddings and save them to file again. Yeah, so this is how I did it here. For example, let me actually, I think I can delete it like that. Yeah, but anyway, I just took all these files, these descriptions and OpenAI and created this embed. This is how it works. So this way you can build much more um, efficient system and results will be much better. We test it with the real client and yeah, and results much, much better than just request to the vector store. Thank you for your time. Yeah, tell me if you like this video, if you want to see more about Rack systems. We also have experience working with the Gentic Rack systems. Yeah, and have a good day. Bye.